Elementor 324 gives you more control, boosts your visitor engagement, and improves your site performance. Hi, I'm Roy from Elementor, and today I'm excited to walk you through our latest version, Elementor 324. We've got a lot of great features to cover, so stay tuned for this one. You won't want to miss it. First, let's talk about floating bars. These versatile elements can stick to the bottom or the top of your page, ensuring that important messages like promotions or announcements are always visible to your visitors. There are three types of floating bars to choose from, CTA bar, ticker bar, and coupon bar. Let's say you want to keep your visitors informed about a limited time offer. A CTA bar at the top of your screen ensures that they never miss it. Or perhaps you want to highlight ongoing updates with a ticker bar. Or offer a discount code with a coupon bar that lets visitors copy the code with a single click. With Elementor 324, this becomes effortless and customizing these bars to fit your site's style and goals is seamless. There are also over 30 templates available, empowering you to intuitively place the most important messages and promotions front and center, or more like top and bottom. Okay, variable fonts. This great feature lets you fine tune your topography with incredible precision. Thanks to the new width and weight sliders, you can customize your text to perfectly fit your design vision. With variable fonts, you are no longer confined to adjusting text weight and width in rigid increments of 100 pixels, which sometimes can limit design flexibility, because now width and weight can be altered smoothly in single increments, making your designs more, well, precise, enabling more dynamic designs and animations that enhance visual storytelling and visitor engagement. Now let's cover performance with conditional CSS loading. Elementor 324 optimizes your site's performance by loading only the CSS that you need for each page. Our team worked really hard on this optimization, resulting in a CSS reduction of up to 668 kilobytes per page. This improvement is not just about CSS size, it's about delivering a faster, smoother experience for you and your visitors, because faster loading times directly translate to better SEO, lower bounce rates, and higher visitor satisfaction. Next, let's talk about display conditions, enabling Elementor Pro users to control how and when content is shown on their websites. This is a really powerful feature and it now includes three main enhancements that will further streamline your workflow while working on elements. Um, now, when you set a display condition for an element, you'll see a visual indicator right in the navigator, making it easier to see which elements have conditions applied within them. This small but significant change means that you can quickly navigate and adjust your conditions with just a glance. And to save you even more time, you can now copy and paste display conditions across different elements. No more repetitive work. Just right click, copy, and paste. But if you need to clear display conditions, that's also just a right click away. All right, enough with that for now. See this button here? That's Elementor AI. And see all these nameless containers? That's a pain. Because a page might have dozens of containers and to keep things organized and have a proper overview of your page structure, we want to have specific individual names for each container. Up until now, we would need to go one by one, come up with a name and then type it in. So back to that mysterious AI button. Let's click it. Incredible. This new feature from Elementor AI is called AI Generated Container Names. It takes care of the details so you can stay focused on the bigger picture. Okay, two final updates, actually changes that were made thanks to your feedback. The search widget, which was introduced to pro users in the previous release, now offers shorter result page URLs for a cleaner user experience. We also added more flexibility when customizing the search loader's display and its design, as well as the drop-down width that can now be stretched across the entire widget. Lastly, while Elementor AI features are highly effective for enhancing your workflow, saving time, and sparking creativity, we've listened to your feedback and we added the option to disable these features and notifications if desired. To turn off AI functionality, simply go to the user section in the WordPress dashboard and uncheck the box for enable Elementor AI functionality. So that's Elementor 324. Update today to enjoy these great tools and to boost your website's design, conversion rates, visitor experience, and performance.